In this tutorial, we will explore the inherent capability of Windows to serve as a VPN server, utilizing the PPTP protocol. The focus is on creating a personalized home VPN server within the Windows 11 operating system. To initiate the process of establishing a VPN server in Windows 11, the initial step involves accessing the network connections window. By pressing the Alt key along with the F key, the full menu is revealed, allowing the selection of the New Incoming Connection option. User accounts designated for connecting to the VPN server remotely must be selected, with a recommendation for heightened security through the creation of dedicated user accounts solely for VPN logins. The subsequent step involves opting for the Through the Internet selection to enable VPN connections over the Internet. For incoming connections, Internet Protocol version 4 is chosen, and further configuration is performed by selecting properties. Users have the option to allow VPN users to access the local network from any location over the Internet. Setting an IP address range is advised to prevent network conflicts with local devices, and the number of allowed clients is determined by this range. Enabling access to shared files and printers on the local network is an additional feature that users can choose. Once these configurations are completed, the Allow Access button is clicked, finalizing the creation of the VPN server. However, it is essential to note that the server won't be functional until the Windows firewall and the router are configured to allow connections. To facilitate VPN connections through the firewall, users must navigate through the Windows Defender firewall settings, allowing the Routing and Remote Access option for both private and public networks. Additionally, port forwarding needs to be set up on the router, forwarding port 1723 to the computer's IP address. In the router's admin panel, users access the forwarding section, ensuring that the PPTP VPN connection setting is enabled if available. Connecting to the VPN server over the internet requires knowledge of the router's VAN IP address, which should be the VPN server's public IP address. If the VAN IP is private, indicating the router is behind other NAT devices. Or if it is not a static IP, dynamic DNS service setup is recommended. Once these steps are completed, the VPN server is operational and ready to accept incoming connection requests over the internet. To disable the VPN server in the future, users can simply return to the network connections window and delete the incoming connections item. To test the connectivity, a different computer on a separate network is utilized. Windows built-in VPN client feature eliminates the need for third-party software. By navigating to Settings, selecting Networks and Internet, and clicking on VPN, users can add a new VPN connection. Windows built-in is chosen as the VPN provider, and the connection is configured by providing a name, the VPN server's public IP address or dynamic DNS address, and the necessary login credentials. Upon saving the connection, users can establish SHA connection to the VPN server by clicking the Connect button. This connection enables access to the home network from any location globally, associating web activity with the public IP address of the home network, regardless of physical location.